Yo, what is up guys? It is Ripper and here with a new video for you guys today. And guys, today we have a very kind of a... Uh, how do you want to word it? It's a story video about a very shitty situation that I had to deal with during college, during COVID, really, semester. And I, I kind of want to talk about it because, like, I, I think a lot of people either went through a similar situation or they just went through a lot of hard times during COVID. And I think it's something that we can all try to have a connection with if you are in school, if you are in college, if you're in high school. Let my story just maybe help you understand like why COVID college and why COVID school is just not a good combination. So college during COVID, <clears throat> let's talk about it. Well, let's just start off with, I feel like something that has to be the most obvious is very unorganized. I mean, I think if anybody can say anything, it is that college during COVID is something that is pretty dog shit. I mean, half the teachers don't know what's going on and I kind of want to talk to you about my story about it. So let's start off in March. I mean, really the beginning of March when COVID started spiking. My teachers in all my classes said the same thing. Hey guys, fair warning covid and all this stuff is spreading people can't get sick blah 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 and we have to be careful there's a chance you may have to leave class now when i first heard this i thought eh, it can't be that bad i mean again this is literally the start of covid so i didn't i didn't know how the severeness of covid was at the time and now knowing obviously yeah it makes sense but at the time i didn't all right i was going into it thinking you know like probably like most people i think i thought oh covid's can't be that bad people overreacting looking back now i was wrong but what did i learn from it i learned that the teachers weren't ready and what do i mean well let's just start and of course one day class starts i then get a email basically getting from a teacher saying hey class in-person class is now canceled online learning is the way we're gonna have to do it i'm sorry this may suck blah 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 but it is required but now that online learning boom right the issue goes into two parts it goes into student versus teacher and i'm gonna talk about it the main reason why this is important is because now that the split has happened between student versus teacher communication you know, knowing what's gonna happen, like, hey, when are we gonna take tests? Say we have a test plan that now just has to be moved, canceled, combined, whatever. We now have to figure out, well, what's the plan of action? And so this is where online class booming and deciding to pick up out of nowhere is gonna cause some serious issues. And it did. So what happened was my teachers, after again, I told you saying, hey, we may potentially have to close or may have to, I guess you could say cancel class, whatever you want to word it. Well, when that, I guess, <clears throat> announcement came out, they also said, we also don't know how we're going to do class. And why is that a concern? Because they openly just said, we don't know how we're going to teach you. Meaning lessons are thrown out the window. They have to rewrite the entire schedule and cancel certain tests and cancel quizzes, combine quizzes, all these things that if you're a student, you never want to stress about because it's things that are going to make things a lot more worse than you want them to. And there's nothing you can really do to stop it. Same thing for teachers. They're just going to do what they think is right. And a lot of times, the number one thing they like to do is combine shit and they think because when you combine something it makes more sense is either it's easy to maintain it's easy to control but here's the dark truth about it is that what i went through was my teachers had to combine i think it was like our midterm and final they canceled the midterm to combine it and then they also said hey now we also have to look into your quizzes we now basically are adding some quizzes and combining some like it's just weird concept that just didn't make sense also i had a teacher literally go missing in action like the entire semester he went from being there to physically just not showing up now let me make this clear this class that, he, that my teacher vanished and the reason why it's important is this class started online right so it didn't start in person this class started online and he just vanished. He just didn't really show up. I, now, 
I understand partly why he had to go, but at the same time, organization was not present clearly in his mindset, which really sucks because it was a class that I kind of enjoyed a little bit. Um, it just it just kind of sucked, but you know it happened, and so we had to go through it. Overall, though, when everything happened and classes became online, in-person learning basically disappeared and vanished. Well then, obviously news issues came out, no one really knew what to do, and long story short, became a shit show. And at the end of the day, we finally figured out what we're gonna do. School is supposed to be reopening, I guess in fall. Obviously I'm on summer, but school's supposed to be 100% reopening on fall. Do I think it's gonna happen 100%? Yeah, we'll see. I don't really know about that. But they're gonna try and, you know, say COVID spikes again. Are they gonna close again? There's so many unanswered questions, which again, obviously concerns me. As a college student, I have a year left. You know, I'm scared, right? Because it's like, next year will be my senior year. It will be my last year of college. I will be officially my fifth year of college. I'll be my last one. And it's like, I wanna have a organized schedule. I mean, this semester sucked. I had so much stress to worry about because none of my teachers knew what was going to happen. And obviously, I can't blame them. Like, nobody knew what was going to happen. But still, things could have been done that weren't. And that really sucks. The last thing I want to say real quick before we end this video is that if you are a college student who is dealing with online learning and dealing with having to... I guess accept this transition and I really do hope in person comes back and I hope all of you people all the college students and high school students and all the school students as a whole do get their in-person learning back you know I hope you guys the best I do I know things are gonna be stressful but do me a favor if you ever feel stressed about school just know you know work with it be patient because trust me I know that change is very unloved by a lot of people right no one really likes change so if you need to mentally fix that, take a step back, take a breather, and just try to think about, you know, what can I do personally to help keep myself calm? Because really at the end of the day, that's the only thing you can do. Otherwise, you're gonna think about the same thing every single day of having to manage your own self. And at the end, I mean, the best part of, the best part about online learning that I can say to help maybe help motivate you guys to like it a little bit is, you create your own schedule. You get to work when you want. You get to get the things done when you want. But set a schedule. Organize yourself. Set, set a daily reminder of what you need to do, when is when does it need to be done, and your goals to achieve by that day. I'm telling you, it is the best decision I have ever done personally, and it has helped me pass basically almost all my classes this entire semester.